Well, it moved. Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to the farm. I got some parts. The USPS lady finally showed up with the new clutch and all the fiber discs and all the steel discs throw out bearing oil seals uh, new clutch springs and a whole bunch of bearings and, and a new brake and after looking at this brake um, yeah the one that I had on there had a lot less material on it than this thing does so yeah it was in pretty bad shape and in need of being totally refurbished now the fun part about these things is I'm having a difficult time getting it apart so that I can install the new bearings on the axle bearing it's totally gone and yeah today I'm gonna to try to take another stab at disassembling the rest of that final drive so that I can start reinstalling these parts so come along with us today and we'll get a little, little bit of work done let's get to work we're gonna to start today by taking apart some stuff I've already taken apart so it'll be nice and easy and probably relatively quick Of course I see that. Some of this stuff's gonna be tight. There we go. Gonna take the oil plugs out. Put them off to the side. This here is uh, where the axle bearings go. Got the cover. And we've got these little shims. I can keep the stuff out of the dirt. Keep all the light parts together. Here we go, and uh, as you might be able to tell, some of this is pretty rusty, although the light with the uh, dawn looking into the looking into the dawn with the camera probably can't see much. But this is the part that was completely rusted up and where the clutches had basically become one with everything. I use a lot of these things when I work on stuff. They're downright handy to keep all the parts straight and together. These little bolts I've got to take out. Whoever it was that worked on it last put them in backwards. And, uh, oh boy. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this whole bottom half off and just drop it in the 
uh, parts washer <laughs> and let it sit there for a day or two. Another 9 sixteenths, yep. Magnetic things are handy, but boy, they can be a pain in the butt. got that big bad boy. I think I'm just going to drop that in the parts washer. Now I'm taking off the main drive shaft point here. This is a cut attached to that uh, clutch plate shaft. And I couldn't get the thing out the other day. So I sort of gave up. Didn't necessarily admit defeat, but I decided I was going to let John Deere mess with it. And Lavoie over at jdcrawlers.com seems to think I can get this out. Although I'm really not sure how. It is so rusted up. And I'm afraid to go beating on it too much. I don't want to hurt it. But I really, really got to get this thing off. And I don't want to hurt the gears because, you know, they're 70 year old gears that aren't necessarily made anymore. Yeah, I don't know how this thing's going to come apart. Okay. I'm basically down to the point that I was before where I'm kind of at the end of my rope. That looks like it ought to just come right out. And uh, it's not. <sighs> Time to go find some PB blaster. Uh, 
Now I'm going to let that sit for a while and penetrate. And I'll come back in a little while and beat on it. Walk away. Walk away. No, it's not throwing much. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to cut through in two spots so we can spread it open. Okay. Watch your face in case this thing explodes. They sometimes will. Yep. Cut on both sides.
Hey, now you might have it up enough to where you can uh, cut the other side of it. Maybe. <laughs> like that. Yep. Fifteen. Remember that. <laughs> There's not much of a lip there, but let's see what we can grab. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well, now, that's the only one of those you have, I'm guessing. Yep. You need one with the, the flexible arms to get on that and there's really not much for it to get on. Yeah, there's not much for it to grab a hold of. I'm afraid that, well, the only way to find out is to find out. I'm afraid if we get onto that, it's just gonna roll that that lip. Yep. But, I, I don't have a better idea either. We can't get that, get that pulley away from it. In fact, that might actually be mounted right on that pulley, that whole piece, I can't tell. That right there is something that presses up against that okay. uh, gear. So this is not one piece, it's two pieces. Yeah, it's two pieces. <laughs> I still think our and I got up. it to move about a quarter of an inch, but it's not moving past that quarter of an inch. Mm Still basically at the same options we were ten minutes ago. Yep. Get one on that lip, or get you know, get longer screws and a longer, longer arms. This is my PV blaster. I was hoping that once we got that bearing body off, we would have room. God, I wish that would just slip right on through. It was too too wide here for that puller you had to bounce in. Yep. Do they make, I'm sure they make one with longer arms than that one, longer flanges. At least I would think so. Yeah. yeah I'll tell you what, stand it up. We're going to turn it around. We're going to look at uh, pushing the axle out. is supposed to be up in this area so I've got it gotten it to move some so you're okay so you're looking at working on this one now why not okay do I have anything I, else to do? I just want to make sure I'm understanding mm -hmm. and that's got to drive out that way that's what I'm thinking um, do you have the bolt that was in the center of this yep I think if we put the bolt on that it'll give you something to hit on without hitting that shaft I don't think it should damage those threads once it's threaded in, correct? One would think. I would actually take that off. It's not it's not beat up by anything we don't have to, if it will come on. Yeah. Well, that's not gonna work. 
either. We need to uh, It's going to have to be on its side, I think. Yeah. Cuz right now it's sitting on that on that wheel. So there's nowhere for that shaft to go. that instead. <laughs> it should sit right in those in that thread hole. These are the bolts that went here I think. Get this on its side because this is against the ground. Yeah. Do you have a preference on which way I go with it? Toward you, I guess. making any headway? Uh, go ahead, I'm going to start watching. I wasn't looking at an angle where I could see. <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> Easy. Got torque on your back. Sit up right. And I've got the gear up against the casing over here. I just I do not know what I'm doing. Thank you. 
Something moved. Something popped. You're in the way of the camera. Sorry. Okay. Something definitely let loose. Exactly what it was supposed to do, I think. Yeah, I can see the bearing now. Keep moving it then. You know what I mean now? Impact on. Yep. We got the axle shaft out. <laughs> okay, let's do it this the smart way. You there are, we go. You're not, to, <laughs> you're not trying to save this gasket, correct? No. Uh -uh. Okay. Now there's uh, there's shims and then there's gaskets. That looks like a gasket. Yes, it was. Well, you can see where they repaired this race. Oh, yeah. There's quite a crack in it. Oh, really? Yeah. But it's been there for who knows how long, so let me set this down. There's that bearing race. Toast. Good luck getting it back through the hole. I think you'll have better luck yeah. getting it off to the side. There you go. Actually doesn't look in too bad a shape. But you've got replacement for it. Yeah. I would still clean it up and hang on to it. Ooh, look at Where'd this. that bearing go? Put that back in that bearing. I'm gonna clean it up and have it as a spare. Okay. What's keeping you from getting it out? might not hurt a little time in the cleaner or yeah, pressure washer. that's the idea. Put it in my parts washer once I get it all apart. Well, we got that much off. I, uh, I, think, uh, I think the answer for the other one is the same, Bill. <clears throat> if we can get a, you know, something that'll mount on that. Yeah. I think that's a whole lot better than trying to beat that bastard out. Boy, that sleeve collar is rusted. That's not nothing we can't uh, clean up. And we gotta, gotta somehow that. get that off. It's <laughs> gonna be the next challenge. But at least we can move this one around to work on it. Yeah. Boy, another. I don't know if those wheel pullers have a long enough shaft to reach down over that. But yeah. I think that would be a, again our best best bet to bring that off. You know what I mean? So that's got to come this way. Yep. Wheel puller to get down around on that. Hmm. That's going to need to be cleaned up. Get that apart. I 
Do you remember what the manual said about getting that off? That one specifically? Nope. Other than probably a big jawed hydraulic press thing I don't have. I think uh, another mechanical wheel puller like that with long arms would be the, the best yeah. best option. I don't know. I figure we could probably hook it on that without damaging it and that bearing should slide up and off. And what we learned from these two, I think that uh, you know, mechanical puller is going to be our best bet. Yeah. Even if you have to get another one, I know you don't want to buy more tools, but <laughs> more tools, more tools, what are you more do? tools. God damn it! It's either get the right tool and and at work, or not get the right tool and fight with it and bitch with it and and you know. Yep. And that goddamn plate. Has got to come off of there. Well, I would think if we could get a, a wheel puller that could come out around this yep. and hook on this plate, it would pull that holst. No, it won't. You can't do that. That won't work. You said that plate stays on the shaft? No, it's not on the shaft. Okay, so this will come off the shaft? That'll so, come off so the shaft. So we can put a on this. That, that was, that was my it. initial thought when I purchased. This bad boy. And you can't get the, the arms underneath. Can't get both arms underneath. That's that's exactly what we need. Yep. Have you tried it since you got more movement in here? Nope. And you have just one of the arms. Without without it on the on the head. I can get over there. Yeah, and you can definitely get over there. There's our answer, Bill. Okay. Well. Under. Give me the other arm, I think. Well, you're going to have to put this in first. Guaranteed. You. We're gonna run out of threads. Yep, that shaft's not gonna be long enough to get as much. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense to me because those arms are maybe it's just not made to move arm very far. And maybe that divot is what's killing us. It's not exactly straight. No threads left. <coughs> well, so now what do we do? Find an old socket I don't care about. Put that underneath? Wouldn't you know it? Wrong size. No. The battery's dead. Socket's not big enough. Okay. I think we should stand this up on its base so we can see what's going on on the other side when we start. 
start moving it. Actually, you can see those two little uh, drippy these things. things. Okay. They ought to go down. Saw it move. I saw it move. As far as, I, as far as I can go there. Yeah, I don't see it moving. Flipped it around and tried to go right onto the bearing with those hooks under that little that bearing. Man, grab my PB blaster. I can put more torque on it if you wish. I just I don't want to push so far until we start. I'm afraid to bend the plate. I understand. That's why I stopped so we could think about it. Look at what we got. We're off. We're off, off center of that socket pretty hard too. So I'm afraid we're going to slip off it soon. Yeah. Try on this more. Flip it over and work on that bearing side. Well, here is where I'm at. I've got a bearing that I can't get off of the shaft. I go and try to pound on the shaft and I can't get it any further than it already is. And I can't get the plate off the other side of this shaft. I'm sort of stuck. And that's where I'm gonna leave it for right now because I'm gonna walk away and come back to it in a minute or three. Well, I don't mind telling you, I am a little bit more than frustrated and a little bit pissed off. The only thing that I can tell that's keeping me from taking the rest of this apart is getting this little shaft to go down through that bearing and the plate on the other side refuses to come off of the end of the shaft and I can't get the shaft any, any further. Now I actually push the shaft in about a quarter of an inch but that's it. It stopped. 
and it's not going any further. I don't know if there's a snap ring in there that I haven't undone. According to the manual, there's not supposed to be. You know, and according to what I read, you ought to just be able to push the shaft out. The uh, steering wheel puller that I've got is just a little bit too small to be able to go into these bolt holes. It's like a half an inch all the way around too small. So I guess I'm going to go to Napa and see if I can find me one similar to the one that we used to get the axle shaft out and uh, try to find one that's just a little bit bigger and use it here and uh, I got my fingers crossed but I'm not holding my breath I do know one thing I do not do not want to go beating on this thing until I mushroom out the metal on the top of it um, well, you shouldn't have to use that much force to slide it out of the inside of that bearing. So that's where I'm at. I guess I got to go to Napa and call Lavoy over at jdcrawlers.com and see if he's got some suggestions for me. Thanks for hanging out with me on the farm, getting a little bit of work done. I know this ended up being a long video, but this is really important and not to mention frustrating. I will get this thing apart. Yeah. <laughs> I just <laughs> want to walk away. I want to walk away. want to walk away. Before I do something stupid. Really stupid.